Good evening, everyone. We're coming to you again from Pasadena. You're looking at the Evergreen Evermore, which has run aground in the Chesapeake Bay. Look at that sailboat that's up so close to the ship. Uh, now, as we know from our uh, experience the other day with the U.S. Coast Guard, there is a 500-yard distance rule uh, for the ship. Uh, and that sailboat is clearly much closer than 500 yards away from the Evermore right now as it sits. It's run aground there in the shipping channel there or just on the side of the shipping channel um, inside of the Chesapeake Bay here in Maryland. Um, again, this is a live look at conditions out here on the bay. Just beautiful conditions here today. Light winds. Um, again, it, it's getting close to the evening time as the sun is setting. It was much warmer out here today, but this is just beautiful. Uh, but you can see that the sailboat is out there getting a bird's eye view uh, of the Evermore, Ever Forward, as I should say, Ever Forward as it sits there, uh, is stuck in the Chesapeake Bay shipping channel. Um, and again, we want to remind all of you that the Coast Guard has imposed a 500 yard security restriction around the Ever Forward. Uh, and that is for security reasons, also for your safety as well. So if you are going to be venturing out to get photos or video, we know a lot of you are trying to live stream reports right now from uh, the Ever Forward and the conditions here in the Chesapeake Bay. Uh, we just want to remind everyone to be safe and to please adhere to that 500 yard safety perimeter around the building. Um, again, I know it's very enticing. Of course, we went out there ourselves uh, and that security perimeter, perimeter was established while we were on the water doing our live reports for you the other day. Um, and so we, of course, immediately uh, adhered to the rules of the Coast Guard when they came out to uh, say hi to us and gave us a little visit uh, while we were on um, the stern end of the Evergreen Ever Forward, which you see is still stuck out there in the Chesapeake Bay. So that's the further update that we have for you at this time. Um, the U.S. Coast Guard is working with contractors at this point to come up with some sort of a plan on how they're going to get the ship moving again and get it. Uh, they may have to dredge underneath of the boat or potentially put airbags under there to get it up. Um, and we also know that there are plans to get those containers off of the ship as well. Uh, so we're going to be watching this. And again, we expect this uh, scene to be unfolding for a couple of weeks before this is completely resolved. So just coming to you again from the Chesapeake Bay here in Maryland, you're looking at the Ever Forward at the site where it is stuck in the Chesapeake Bay. Coming to you live for Anne First Alert, First Alert Nation, and Arundel.News, I'm Holly Basta. Oh, hang on. I'm going to keep going a little bit longer because what the helicopter's coming. <laughs> it's <laughs> nightly news time, so it's probably a news chopper that's coming to check out the scene here of the Ever Forward as she sits here in the Chesapeake Bay. So before you send us a message into Anne Arundel First Alert asking what the helicopter, just know that they're probably coming out here to check out again bird's eye view of the Ever Forward as she sits and remains in the same place uh, where she got stuck this weekend here in the Chesapeake Bay. Again, coming to you for First Alert Nation, Arundel.News, and Anne Arundel First Alert, I'm Holly Basta.